guys, King of Tri Matters here, and today I bring to you another one of my Philippines vlog, and this time it's one you want to see because it's Black Diablos. On my second vlog of the Philippines, I was in an island called Borokai, and on the island I spent 10 days there, and Happy New Year's 2024. So, it is the beginning of the new year, but with the beginning of the new year also brings Black Diablos. So Black Diablos week started and I needed to get enough materials for a grade 10 5 out of 5 Black Diablos bow. So as you see here, I'm on foot in 85 plus degree heat and island humidity to grind because it was time to grind and I'm definitely getting my grade 10 5 out of 5 Black Diablos bow or just enough materials to get it because obviously you know you still need the money, the zenny, and the wyvern gem shards. But you know what? The next time this beast came around, I didn't want to have to hunt her super hard or I just wanted to go after kills rather than doubling up on drops every time. So the mission was to double up on all my drops and hunt as many as I can despite it being so freaking hot outside and I don't have my car. So I can't drive, I can't drive and grind. So it was time to do it the old fashioned way, which I'm perfectly fine with because my card was so on point despite the fact I was eating so many calories. I ate so much food, I'm going to show you in the next couple of slides, just, like, I ate a lot of food. So with a lot of food plus a lot of trekking for Black Diablos means kind of a lot of fun and also a lot of food. One of my nights I went to this place called I Love Backyard Barbecue and it was right outside my hotel. You see that building right there? That was my hotel. We stayed at a place called the Feliz and oh my god, it was a super nice hotel. They had a fire show and I could literally see the fire show from outside my room. I could literally walk out to my balcony and bam, I saw a fire show. So it was super cool and I got to eat some super cool food. There was always a line line at this barbecue place. So I was like, you know what? I will like staying next... I'm staying literally at the hotel right next to her. I'll go online. And they had this sweet barbecue. Look at that. It's amazing. This dish was called she. And what she, it's basically barbecue thighs, uh, catfish, chicken. It was so freaking good. Some ribs. It was amazing. And to top it off, every Filipino knows. If you get the Filipino dish, you need the Filipino dessert. The legendary Halo Halo. The Ube ice cream was so good. This was some of the best hollow hollow I've had. And for just like, that's literally like everywhere. Like hollow hollow is just hollow hollow. But yeah, literally some of the best hollow hollow I've had. And this meal was absolutely amazing. And eventually I got my 300 Black Diablo slave. So here's the game plan. I would do my morning runs running two to five miles a day hunting Black Diablos. So I would run every other day. And those days I ran, it'd be two to five mile runs. And I'd just hunt Black Diablos. The rest I did was the rest I did hunt was walking around after the spawns would reset. To spawn reset every three hours and every hour from one to six when that boosted window was around. So I would do a route walking around every time for those resets. And some black diablos dropped some good material, just like you see this bow right here. They dropped rarity for prime shells, which I really needed. So a lot of, in order to get a grade 10 5 out of 5 Black Diablo spell, you need a lot of rarity 2, 3s, and 4s, so I need a lot of these, so I was doubling up as much as I could on all these drops. As you saw in that video, getting to hunt around the island and on the beach was absolutely amazing. I, w I actually ran to the edge of one of the islands right there that was or not really the edge of the island but that was on the edge of like the one of the ports over there so I ran over there and it was just like this cliff that you could walk around but you had to like hold on to this rope and walk around or you could walk through this cave it was super cool to see and it was absolutely beautiful. During that night I even got this lay my first 8 star black Diablo she was a bee's knees this took a lot of attempts and a whole lot of potions. But I was finally able to take this down. The rarity 3 and rarity 4 drop was worth it. As you see, Black Diablo is trying to take it down. I'm pretty sure now with the burst 3 combo and the Azerathalos helmet, the Focus 5 burst 3, I'd be have a lot easier time of taking down this Black Diablos. But this is one of the reasons why like Focus 5 is just so good. Just because you're able against monsters like Black Diablos, which move so much, Focus 5 comes in so clutch. You're able to take um take out 8-star Black Diablos 
without taking as much damage, but it was really tricky and it came down to the wire, but with this powerful Dragon Piercer, I was able to take out this Black Diablos. The second time I took down the Star, it wasn't like as hard because I was able, I got the pressure down, got the time down, etc. And one of the days I had this amazing breakfast at this place. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I'm about to show you on the next side, but the island had so much good food overall. I ate so much good food and I'm about to show you this amazing cafe I went to on the island. This place was called Sunnyside Cafe and right here they have the Ube Orchata. I feel like they did a little too much here, but the Ube Orchata was still good. Definitely would recommend. It was like a sweeter version of Orchata. They had this like kit to it. Again, it was Ube, so I think the Ube Yams, in my opinion, didn't mix too well. I like traditional Orchata much better, but this was still really good. Along with that, I got this gri bacon grilled cheese. And that was some thick bacon. It was so good. And to top it off, I have to have dessert. The thing about the King of Charm Match, I must have dessert in my meals. And that's what the Ube pancakes were for. These Ube pancakes, they originally, I was supposed to get like a double stack. But the, they were like, are you sure? That's a lot of food. So I was like, you know, let me get one. So yes, I managed to finish all this and it was so good. Definitely some of the best breakfast I've had in the Philippines. And when I come back to this island, I'm definitely going to come back here and get me some of this breakfast. Sunny Side Cafe. You go to Boracay, Philippines. Oh my God. One of the best breakfasts I've ever had in my life. But as good as this breakfast was and the 10 days I had on Boracay Island was absolutely amazing because two minutes out of my hotel room, I could be at the beach. But all good things must come to an end and eventually it was time to go. So we had to take a boat back to the main island and then another plane to our final destination in Manila where me and my family were going to stay until we headed back to United States. So it was really... It was a lot of fun, but time to head back to the United States. But first, a week in Manila. So we still had to go back to Manila, where my mom is from. And what I had to do, it wasn't over yet because I still had to hunt more Black Diablos before I had enough materials for a grade 10 level 5 out of 5 Black Diablos bow. I didn't need too much more in order to reach my goal, but I'm going to save that for another video. I hope y'all enjoyed this blog content. It was truly a, like, I always hunted on foot for Pokemon Go for years and then driving grinding at the same time. Like, I would hunt for tens of hours, especially at events in Pokemon Go. So I already had a ton of experience before hunting Black Diablos on foot in, an, in the island team in the Philippines. With that being said, please do me a huge favor. Please like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. It takes a lot of work to get blog work done, especially like getting these photos and snapshots and putting all the videos and editing them together. But again, good luck on your grinds. I'll look forward to the next one. I think I have one more after this before I put this series out to a close. Again, good luck on your grinds, and I will see y'all on the next video.